I'm going to help you master the needle threader on the Foff Ambition 610 sewing machine. So I'm going to unthread the needle right now, and I'm also going to lower the presser foot, which is something that you can do if you need a little bit more room for your hands to operate the needle threader. When we do it without thread, this is what it's going to look like as you gently pull it down. And I say gently because if you think about it, there is a small little piece of metal that is going to be swiveled to the eye of the needle, through the eye of the needle, that is small enough to get a hold of the thread you're going to give it. So it doesn't take much to also bend that small little piece of metal. So if you have tried to use your needle threader over the years and you've just given up because you say, oh, it never works, it probably and could be bent to the side. So if it's bent to the side, it will never actually work. You might be able to see it and bend it back to the center or have your local FOF retail uh, look at it and adjust it for you. The other thing that I always recommend my students using a needle threader is when after they've put a new needle in, it's a way to check if your needle is at the gets all the way up to the highest position. Because if you don't put it all the way up, the hole of the needle is lower and the needle threader, once again, won't be lined up with it. So there's multiple way reasons that something doesn't work, but just keep in mind you need to be delicate with your needle threader. So this is how I guide my students to use it. So if you actually just bring it down a little bit and then catch it under that little arm on the way down. Next, bring it all the way down and swivel the head to the needle. Cross the thread in front of the needle and kind of push it into those two little arms and then I lift up. I'm not pushing it to the back, but I'm just gently lifting up so that little hook can get a hold of the thread. Next, I'm gonna take and swivel the needle threader head away from the needle while letting go of the thread from my right hand. So if you don't let go of this thread with your right hand, it can't pull through. Right now it just pulled through a small little loop that I can then bring through the eye of the needle. Let me do it, I'll do it one more time. So I'm just catching it on the way down, bringing the needle threader head all the way around the needle before I put my thread in, then push it in, lift up, and then let go of the thread, and then it will work perfect every single time. Now, if your needle is not uh, straight, it's gotten bent a little, that can interfere with things. And also make sure that your needle is also at the highest position. So if you need to cycle through with the needle up down button by letting the machine place the needle in the highest position for you. If you are used to turning your hand wheel on the side of the machine, that needle might not be lined up again. Just make sure your needle is always at the highest position.